Oh, y'all, the wind is blowing, the temperature is rising, I feel very, very wet. A hurricane is blowing in from Belgrade, and it is called Ha 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 Hurricane. Ksenia, Sonia, and Ivana, they are ready to slay. The question is, are you guys ready to be slayed? Should we talk about it? <laughs> Let's, Let's do, do it. it. Yes, for the second year in a row, Serbia is fielding Hurricane with a Spanish language titled song. It is Loco Loco. That is crazy times two. This is a Euro pulp Balkan banger ready to get you to the dance floor to work that body. I just spoke with the women actually, and they told me the song is about that crazy feeling you get when you are in love. So this is a universal theme set to a funky rhythm. Sinan, what do you think? Oh my gosh. This is this is just a bop. Like I do love this kind of music. This is actually my kind of music, which I almost listen every day. You know, we in Bulgaria say pop folk, like the genre, the style of, of this music. And I absolutely love it. I am so happy that they um, came back. I think it's better than Hurry uh, Hasta, la Hasta La Vista, yes. And you know, the the music, the the beats. And I, I heard some people said it's a little bit crowdy, you know, so loud. But hey, we love loud music in the Balkans, so. <laughs> yeah, and I do love their voices, you know. These girls are amazing. Well, he is shook. Lucy in the United Kingdom, are you? Oh, God, I hate to, like, stand on CNN's optimism there. Oh, but, well, look, I'm going to agree it's better than Hasta La Vista, like, considerably so. But feeding into what you've just seen, been saying about the loudness of the song, by the end of it, I'm just kind of like, ah! Like, it's just so intense the whole time. And I just, I kind of can't really, like, by the end of it, I'm like, <sighs> and not in like a good way <laughs> like i just find it a little bit intense i think if the line was like sam, 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 and it's sam, 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 i'm like <laughs> like the whole time <laughs> and, um so i kind of it just grates on me a little bit but it is so much better than hasta la vista like tenfold even though it's not my cup of tea I, it's it is definitely better than last year but no, it's just a little bit too intense, which I love a bit of intensity in music sometimes, but not this one so much. The funny thing about your commentary, it's like, dang, she savaged that. So what would she have said last year? Woo, I'm glad we're not yeah. saying hola to that. <laughs> Oliver, what do you have to say? I don't like it. I'm going to be blunt. I do not like this one bit. I understand their intentions i love a bit of dance pop music something that's easy to make because because it is it's simple and i love that but where is the bass where is the bass line where is the riff there's nothing there and if you're making this kind of dance pop song that you want people to get up and shake the floor, shake the room, boom, boom. It, it needs that kind of rhythmic structural punctuation and it just throws it off completely. I know the Hurricane individually, they're all very talented women. We've heard them sing and they can sing, you know, on that talk show where they performed acoustic with that guitar. <laughs> The harmonies were there, vocals were really strong, but this song doesn't let them show this off. The studio cut of it, it's just not built for the vocal capacity to really shine here. Think of something like uh, Cry No More Feeling All Alone and Insecure, Netherlands a few years ago. That was great because- Whoa, 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 hold up, hold up. 
I'm crying okay. no more, feeling all alone and insecure. That was a power ballad, boo. That was a harmonized power ballad. Yes. This is not that. Yes, but what I'm saying is if you've got three vocalists that are as strong as Hurricane are, why not give them something that is a bit more suited to their voices? I, I know that's not necessarily the aim with this song, but without the bass, without the riff, without anything to pull me in, I'm struggling to see what the intention is. Uh, I, I just don't get it. So y'all know what a pitchfork looks like? You know, a big old stick with like the three points. So this is my pitchfork right here and I'm coming at you, bam! Bam, bam, <laughs> because I need to pull our girls out from this debris. The hurricane came through and they are under debris from Lucy and Oliver. I totally respect your opinions, 100%. I think the song is a bit overproduced, so I do take your point that it's very loud. However, I think the magic will come in the live performance. Like, the other day, Samantha Tina told me that people can't record her because she's always hitting the top level because she's got such a big voice. And I feel like with Hurricane, it may be similar that live, we will start to hear the beauty as we did on that talk show that you referenced. Um, it sounded amazing on that talk show. So live, you'll get that feeling, you'll get that vibe. Um, to Lucy's point about, I guess you, we could call it childish, some, 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 these like tiktok -y sounds in the song. Yeah, there are two ways to look at it. Some people will think it's childish, other people, Perhaps people who are like teenagers might think it's really catchy and or you could be like a middle-aged man like me and also think it's catchy. I think it adds personality. I think it's kind of adorable in a way. I almost feel like I'm listening to like Japanese pop sometimes. You know how they, they often love to play on like these cutesy sounds? There's something about it I just find very likable. Um, and also, look. I don't know what the term is. Some people call it trash pop. I love this genre. I love how it's just saying, yeah, we're not trying to, you know, be Edgar Allan Poe. We're not trying to write the, the next great, I don't know, fantasy novel, whatever. We're just trying to have some fun. And after this year, after 2020 and 2021, I'm ready for some fun, some rhinestones, some body suits and some body slams delivered by Ksenia, Sonia, and Ivana. Boom. Ivana. Preach. Boom. <laughs> but I do think that a lot of people will think this is trashy, which leads us to the second question, the second round. They're performing in semi-final two, spot number nine, after Moldova and Iceland, and then before Georgia and Albania. Now, the fact that producers put them at the end of the first half, to me, suggests they expect a good stage show. I'm curious what you think they can deliver live and whether they have a shot at qualifying Sinan. Okay. Um, after Daddy and who was the other? Moldova. Um, yes, um, Daddy and Moldova is also, you know, dance song. And, um, but after Serbia comes, um, you know, two ballad songs. And mm, I think they will, you know, they will be lost after Hurricane because, you know, <laughs> with that song. And I, about qualifying, I think they will and they should qualify. But I'm not sure, of course, if they are going to win the semifinal or, you know, top five or top three. But I don't really care. I think they deserve, you know, their success. And live, as you said, you all actually said they can sing live, you know, with three voices. And they do so good at harmonizing their voices, you know, and that key change, you know. <laughs> I, I, nev I, I don't think I ever heard like three voices making uh, at the same time, you know, a key change. I was so blown away. Hold it's up! <laughs> Michelle Williams, Beyonce Knowles, <laughs> and Kelly Rowland continue. The moment. Oh, I'm sorry, yeah. Oh! Yes, oh my gosh. Yeah, um, exactly. And I think I think they will qualify and they will burn the stage and then, you know, swipe it with their hurricane. <laughs> Lucy. Um, now, kind of objectively speaking, even though I'm clearly not the biggest fan of the song, this, I think this is going to qualify because, like you say, like, have, isn't, aren't they just before, like, the four slow song run? Like, I, I think that even though I don't like it, I can see why other people love it. And like, 
I think, and I really hate to sound like a UK local, but I think this is what a lot of people come to Eurovision for. Um, I think they're qualified. I think it would be ninth or tenth. I don't think it's going to be the safest qualifier, but I can't see a final without them in it. Does that make sense? Because, like, how, I mean, there is a lot of high energy pop in 2021. I mean, that's the risk. Yeah. There is a lot. I mean, like, Moldova mm-hmm. is soon before it, which is higher quality. Um, <laughs> so, um, you know, so I kind of wonder if people who are coming for that fix. They're going to get their sugar hit from Moldova already. They don't need a ha ha hurricane. Like, I don't know. This is why I think it's been ninth or 10th. That's why I think it's not sure. I think people who want it might already get it from Moldova. But, you know, they like you say, they're so talented vocally. They are exceptional vocally. So maybe that's where they could kind of win over certain other acts of the same kind of genre. And hey, it's not trashy, it's fun. Like like I say, it isn't my kind of fun pop, but it is fun. If that came on a Euro Club, the plays would cease. Like <laughs> Y'all crack me up. I kind of feel like saying they're talented then gives everyone license to say whatever the hell they want. But I am here for it. I respect your honesty. Just to clarify before we turn to Oliver, the run of four slow songs in 10th is Georgia, and 11th is Albania, and 12 is Portugal, and 13 is Bulgaria. All of them follow Hurricane Oliver. We are a house divided in the house of Wee Wee today. I don't think this is going to qualify. I can understand people responding to this because it is that fun pop. I don't like the term trash pop because I don't think anything should be written off like that. But there's just not really a lot going for this other than the vocals. Juries aren't going to respond to this at all. The the composition just isn't there to really hook anybody in. And in the lineup, echoing what Lucy said, this might get overshadowed by Moldova. However, by that same token they could do well considering they're following Georgia and Portugal and those slower songs. So they'll stand out from the crowd there. But I think this will need a really strong televote result to scrape qualification. Serbia has barely qualified in the past with much stronger songs than this. Sanja Vucic on her own, I think, came 10th place in her semi, maybe 9th. Bojana, uh, Beauty Never Dies. That didn't do amazing in the semi as well. It was great in the final, but semi-final just barely cutting it. There is something maybe to be said, actually. Actually, this is interesting. The video, the music video, went to the top of the Eurovision channel for most viewed over, I think it was last week. Mm. So that suggests that there is popularity for this song. But even so... I think those televote numbers are going to have to be really high if Hurricane want to secure their place in the final. So although I am loco loco for this song, I do agree with you that this is perhaps not a guaranteed qualifier. One reason I say that is Slovenia, North Macedonia, and Croatia, they're all in the other semi-final. Its closest allies at Eurovision are not here. So that is slightly worrying to me. However... Albania, Bulgaria, I feel like there's a a dance sensibility. Do you know what I mean? I think this song will translate well to some of the other markets that are here. In terms of the running order, I think, you know, Lucy, you're spot on. After this, it is for really, I don't want to, no, Bulgaria is one of my favorites. I love Albania. But then you got Georgia and Portugal. It's a bit of a snooze fest to like a, a viewer who comes to party. Like, let's be real. A lot of people, like a lot of casual voters come to Eurovision for that upbeat, unique kind of regional flair. And Serbia is one of the few countries in this semifinal giving us that regional sensibility. It's in Serbian, for goodness sake, um, which is just a huge plus in my book, honey. (laughs) I think that this will elevate live, which gives me confidence, because they can move and they can sing. They just told me in an interview that actually when in preparing for this, they're running on a treadmill and singing Loco Loco. So just picture it. Loco Loco, da 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 They're doing that right now to work on those abs, work on those voices, and they are gonna absolutely slay. Ooh, my cochlea, all that liquid, I'm dizzy. In any case, it is now time to go around 
and give our scores out of a 10, along with a justification, starting with Mr. Sinan Sadula in Bulgaria via Germany, or rather in Germany via Bulgaria. <laughs> oh my gosh. As maybe you all know, I'm 100% positive about this song. It's one of my favorite this year. And my score is 9 out of 10. Because, you know, I do love this kind of music. And I do love these ladies. They are so gorgeous. They are, they are talented. And the music is there. So my score is based off trying to be a bit objective about it because like if I just looked at myself and kind of like oh da, 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 I'd probably give it lower than this but kind of thinking about it there is a market for it and I think that it is just below average so I have given it a four um I didn't want to be too brutal um uh, I mm, I considered being more brutal but then I was like no come on it's it's not worse than a four like so a four it is on a nice day. Let me just take a note. A four is not brutal. Lucy, thank you so much. I mean, it could be worse. There are three numbers below it, so. <laughs> <laughs> Monsieur Oliver. This is my lowest of the year. And if you thought four was low, I'm giving this a one. Okay, I go home. Oh my. <laughs> wow. I'm now, sorry. No, do you know what? Do you know what? I'm not going to apologise for my opinion. Um, I think I, I just I'm not the market for this. And while I understand that there perhaps is there clearly is a market, you know, we're talking like over six million views on YouTube. I'm just not getting it. I think this song feels messy. I don't like the development in there it comes out of the gate so loud it just doesn't go anywhere and it's just not going to cut it for me i really wanted hurricane and I'm, I'm, do you know what i'm glad hurricane are back and giving it another shot because obviously morally that's what they deserve from last year but i wanted them to come back stronger than this it's just not doing it for me sinan honey can you can you come come this way give, please give me a kiss Oh, other way, sorry. Oh, sorry. Other way. <laughs> further, further. <laughs> no, no, the other way. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, okay, thank you so much. Just needed to share some love because for a few minutes there was none in this chat. All right, look, I totally hear you, respect you. I understand those low scores. I do think this is divisive and that's part of the fun of Eurovision. So obviously this is not taken personally because um, I'm not a member of Hurricane. <laughs> I think that this brings a different flavor, and that's why I love it. I preferred Hasta La Vista, to be honest, but I do think this is fun, and I think they'll do something crazy on stage. They told me in the interview just now that it will be crazy. It'll be completely different to the music video. It'll be completely different to their live on tape. They're continuing to experiment, and I'm looking forward to seeing what beautiful harmony they bring. Hashtag perfect harmony. Hashtag Eurovision movie. My score is a very respectable seven. Yes. All right. We, of course, are not the only Wee bloggers. There are dozens of us all over the world, ranging in age from 18 to over 70. And we have each given our scores and come up with a global average. And we can now reveal that the overall score for Hurricane around the world is... 609 6.09. So this is not an outstanding score. Um, it's not the lowest by any means. So I guess we're saying this is average to above average across all of our bloggers. Is that fair or not, Oliver? Hey, I mean, just because it's, I'm, I know that I'm going to be the lowest in that. My score probably got removed as the lowest. Uh, but hey, if people respond to this, then I'm not one to shut that down. I, I love that. At the end of the day, Eurovision is about a bunch of different styles of music and it's a respectable score for them. I think that's good with what the the overall product, that's a respectable score, absolutely. Yeah, I mean, like, in terms of kind of where I think it's going to be ranked among all the songs with the Wee Wee Jury, it's kind of in line with my view that it's slightly below average, kind of over the whole pack. 
So, yeah, I think that's about fair. Oh, um... <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, yeah. Um, I wasn't expecting a six, actually. I was expecting seven or something. But I understand this. When I heard Lucy's and Oliver's score, so that means that, um, yeah, there are people who uh, gave actually one or, you know, two, five. And... It's okay. It's okay. Six is okay. Like, I think it's in the middle. Like, overall, that's my um, opinion. And I can confirm that <clears throat> Oliver did have the lowest score. However, <laughs> Lauren in Norway gave this a two. So you are not alone. There are others. And I'll just say, songs that end up on the Weeby Jury with like five and a half to six and a half, I feel like they often divisive songs end up there. For instance, Salvador Sobral had a very low overall score with us. However, lots of people ranked it nine and 10. And you know, at Eurovision, it's not who hates you or dislikes you or downgrades you, it's who does vote for you and puts you high. And those are the people giving you the nine and 10. So yeah, it's a weird system when you have a, you know, a 10 point system average. Um, but in any case, I respect all opinions, sexualities, religions, nationalities. So hashtag share the love. In any case, that is what we think. What do you think? Is Serbia one of your favorites? Do you think a score of 6.09 is too low? What is your score out of 10? Let us know here on Wee Wee Blogs. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and give us like, give us comments. We want to hear all of your opinions and read them. You can find us on social media, Twitter, Facebook, pretty much anywhere you can think of. Look at Wee Wee Blogs. And stay tuned for more Wee Wee Jewelry videos. And we will see you later. Bye. Bye. Bye.